And welcome inside another episode of the Canal to Hotels AJHL Coaches Show. From uh, today, the Grand Fear Arena in Spruce Grove. I'm Dave Dawson, uh, pleased to be joined by Rob Skrluk, the General Manager of the Spruce Grove Saints, as we now get into the AJHL and North Division Finals, which is territory the Saints are not strangers to whatsoever over the last decade. And Rob, before we get into... I guess the matchup with the Short Park Crusaders. Uh, overall, I think uh, maybe just this season. What's uh, what's this year like been 2018-19 for yourself and for the Spruce Grove Saints? Um, the the season's been great. Uh, you know, a little carryover from like from last year in terms of uh, you know a, a lot of returning players and and uh, you know Bram and myself being first year rookies in last year. Uh, you know, lucky enough to win the championship and uh, get to get to the Oil Cup and lose out to Wenatchee. So this year it took a took a lot, you know. Just uh, we we don't have, you know, we rely on, on, on our recruiting to be the best, and uh, I don't think that you know the Spruce Grove Saints are in are in rebuild mode, but it's certainly it's always a re a retool. So we you know we rely heavily on our recruiting and uh, try and mold, and you know every year is a little bit different in terms of uh, player personnel and and who's involved and and what you get away with and stuff. So. Uh, this year was, you know, right, right, right from day one was uh, was a, was a new season. Uh, I'm, I'm proud of our, you know, I'm, I'm proud to date exactly where we are and and, and what Bram has done with uh, like with like with the group and stuff. So it's been, uh, it's like it's been a fun ride so far. Well, with that being said, when it comes to recruiting, that's a spot you're front and center and involved in. So I think I'm glad you mentioned that so we could talk a bit about that. Uh, maybe first and foremost, uh, Bram, I imagine, is a guy that you recruited yourself. Both came in, you mentioned, the same time in 2017-18. Uh, now, what's your relationship been like with him and how did you uh, kind of come into this program together? Bram and I work close, uh, closer together. Uh, you know, he does have freedom in terms of uh, his coaching style and uh, you know, at the start of the season, we'll make a, we'll make a long-term plan and a goals and some goal setting for uh, for our players individually and 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 as a team. And and I think uh, what I can do is I can kind of keep them accountable and on those goals and where we're at from from week to week and month to month and ten game segments. Uh, but we work closely in terms of uh, like of recruiting and uh, what's nice is we like the same type of player. Uh, you know, I'm a little bit more gritty, and he's more of a more of a skilled and a and a and, a, and an IQ guy. So um, it's it, it seems to work well for us. Uh, I think our recruits from you know from last year to even into this year, they like they, 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 they come a long ways. Um, but a lot of it, uh, you know, we got the same idea in terms of development, in terms of growth, and and uh, you know, with 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 lots of support from our ownership group and 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 the guys involved with our with our skills coaches. I mean, it's. Uh, it is a family, you know, commitment and, 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 a, and a family group of guys that, that, that kind of work together and, you know, we get, and we get a lot of stuff done in a day. Well, why don't we start with, uh, I guess, recently announced the AJHL all-rookie team and as well as the all-league team. And when you look at a couple of recruits, a couple of special players you've had on your team this year, don't need to talk with the Spruce Grove Saints for long until the name Matt Davis pops up. Obviously, Stanley Cooley on the AJHL all-rookie team as well. Uh, what, what do those two players mean to you and what do they embody in this organization? I mean, first of all, like, like Matt Davis, I mean, he came to us in uh, in our June camp. We kind of had our, our, our eye on him uh, all last season, it's funny too because he was the backup goalie in the in the Okotoks final series for uh, for the Okotoks Oilers. So we got to watch him and warm up a little bit. And um, you know when we brought him into into our June camp, uh, I think himself and his dad were real surprised that we did offer him uh, you know a, a roster spot, and he did impress us uh, you know 100 percent. And and how his game and his maturity has kind of taken off this year. Uh, you know the they he's just he's a unique special kid that that. You know, I hope the best for him. Uh, he's grown up really quick in terms of of the hockey world, and he's and he's getting, you know, he's getting <laughs> whatever he whatever he's doing, he's doing things the right way, and, and he's 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 honest, and he's just a, he's just a good you know just a good he's he's a good kid. Um, you know, Stanley Cooley was was one that we that we went after in uh, you know in last year from from Notre Dame. Uh, their team did they did go and they won the they won the Talos Cup. So we had some strong ties like 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 with Stanley. Um, it's funny because his dad when when we did talk to him, uh, his dad knew I knew a lot about my hockey background and uh, a little bit about Bram. So they also did like did their homework and uh, so two two bright young stars for sure. Well, maybe a little bit more about Matt Davis and the guy that uh, spent quite a bit of time watching from the CJHL Top Prospects game, the World Junior A Challenge as well. In some of those conversations with some of those NHL scouts, as we're getting closer to June's NHL entry draft, what are some of the things they 
ask about him and what is some of the things that they see about him and how do some of those conversations go with some of those scouts that come through here night, uh, night after night? Yeah, you know, Maddie, Maddie had, uh, you know, he had a great pleasure of getting a, a scholarship to Denver and I think from there is his game is kind of in, involved into something that uh, he's getting more looks from, uh, from the higher leagues. Uh, but a lot of a lot of the scouts that we talk to, they ask about his just his quietness with within the pipes. Uh, they ask about his about his about his off ice, is his training, and is he committed? And, uh, and you know, for sure, Matty passes all those tests 100. percent You know, he's always got a smile on. He's always trying to like like to excel and get better and and work with our goalie coach and Jamie McKegg. Um, so the two of them got a really good relationship and. You know, so the so the schools and the scouts that actually like come knocking down, uh, there's nothing but like but good things to say about Matty. So that Denver hockey program is going to be pretty good in a couple of years. I'll tell you that much with the Savoy brothers and Matt Davis as well, and the list goes on. So as we move into a guy that I I know that I think is endeared a lot across the league and from players to general managers, and I remember a comment and chatting with Rick Swan and leading into the World Junior A Challenge a couple of days before before even camp, he said. I don't even really need to look at my roster. I know TJ Lloyd's my captain. Yeah. Like, I just know that. Uh, what about that surprises or doesn't surprise you? And what are some of the things about TJ Lloyd that uh, really impress you? Yeah. TJ Lloyd's kind of the same mold as, like, as Matt Davis. There's always a smile when he comes to the rink. And uh, I think he took a huge step this year in terms of leading our group and, and, our, and our core group, a group of guys from, like, from last year. Uh, those type of guys are always hungry. I know, I know TJ Lloyd is, is like is hungry to get back to the final, is, is hungry to lead, lead this group. And I think, I think his play on the ice shows on, on what a valuable player he is, not just to us, but wherever he goes. And I'm sure that, uh, that, like, like that Rick Swan made a, made a, made a right choice there. And uh, I know they didn't get to, you know, maybe as far as they, they, like, that they want to in the World Junior Challenge, but uh, certainly I know Rick probably had a good time with him. And I know TJ's in it for the right reasons. And, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're happy to have him. He's, he's a third year guy for us this year and he's, and he's grown a lot into something, something again is getting some looks at the higher levels and I hope the best for uh, TG Lloyd. What are, what are some of the things, my, my, I've always been a psychology guy, anybody who's watched these episodes for most of the season understands how much I just love the people side of things. What are, what are some of those conversations like and what, 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 what's the part of your job that you enjoy the most when it comes to the day-to-day -day working with the kids? Yeah. I, I do, I have a lot of interaction with the parents. Uh, I think that's the first, uh, the first area and part of my recruiting that I go to, I go to the parents and I get a lot of inside and, and upside on you know, type of upbringing and the type of, uh, of quality people they are away from the arena and stuff. So, you know, but, but every day for us is, is certainly fun. I mean, it's, uh, you know, coming from the golf course business side and, you know, getting my, uh, you know, my butt out of bed at first thing in the morning at four o'clock. This has been a little bit of a change and, you know, coming into the office where it's a little bit quiet and get to look at some stats and, uh, you know, get to look at some, at, 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 like at some video. Uh, I have a good relationship with our, like with our scouts. Uh, and of course, Bram, and so every day for us is always is like it's a surprise, and we always try and excel and try and be, you know, the the, the best that we can do and the best that that uh, that uh, we could be. Now, when it comes to recruiting, uh, yourself and probably a couple of the teams in the league haven't really had a hard time recruiting over the years, and just building the the success of this program is 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 it easier now to recruit? I imagine a bit of an obvious question because of the success, and and what is the plan moving forward for recruiting? Do, do people just come to the team and say, I want to come here because of the winning program? And not that that had nothing to do with yeah. building it, but is that a lot of what it looks like? Yeah, I mean, the, 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 the groundwork was, like, was set from the Jamie Key days and the Mike Ringrose days when, when we took over two years ago with our ownership group, Lindsay and Dan LeCelt. Uh, we had freedom to, to continue on and, and what was laid out and, and we just try and, uh, you know, try and get one leg up and one step up and, and I think with our, you know, championships over the last number of years, and 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 how we develop, and how we, you know, how we work with our group, and in, in in identifying certain talent, talents and certain characters within guys, uh, our culture within our within our organization has been great, uh, right from the top down. You know, our president and Mark Cronowitz and uh, Bram and myself, we just kind of carry on that like that whole tradition. Re recruiting, it's it's getting tougher. I, I think other uh, organizations are. Raising the bar a little bit. I mean, I look at the, like, the two 16 year old Shura Parkot this year. Uh, you know, good for them. I, I look at Drum Heller and what they do, and 
you know, we, we can see through the back door on, uh, you know, some of the LOIs that are signed around the league. So I think recruiting is getting tougher for us, uh, but we need, but we're active. You know, we're, we're in the ranks, we're, you know, we're talking to parents, we're, we're talking to kids, we're getting our brand out there and stuff. So, but I think our track record kind of proves in, in, you know, in like, like in the past and even, even now for the future that, uh, you know, we seem to find a way to make our way to the North Final, and you know, if, if there's a chance we can get to the AJ Final, I mean, great. So it 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 helps our brand. It helps our it helps us. Well, we'll we'll get into the the North Final here in a couple of seconds, but I just want to ask you one more question about recruiting. And I, Brandon Wanchish and the media director is uh, running camera for us today, and very grateful to have him around. And you obviously work a lot with him. And I think in this day and age. Uh, when it comes to building video content, that's where the younger generation goes, right? What what has it meant for you guys to have the elements that Brandon's been able to compose here and and put a nice product together like we're seeing more in the AJHL? Yeah. Uh, it's it's huge. I mean, I remember my uh, back in the day, my grandpa said, you know, whatever position you get into is is make sure you surround yourself with some good people, and you know they they'll make you look good, and maybe the less work you have to do. So, you know, and Brandon and, and Cade, who who do a lot of our a lot of our media. Uh, production and, and video and you know play like play by play I think you know they got to be one of the top two in the league uh, but Chad Holman behind the scenes with like with their marketing and and you know Steven Gertson and then Tyler Woke and working with their like, like with their skill development it, it just becomes kind of a full circle where you know I, I I'm lucky I have I have the access to you know to all these all these good people and we utilize every like everybody so everybody pulls their weights and uh, I think it's it's a it's a unique situation that I'm in that uh, I got some really good guys around me to kind of hey Rob look at me you know so it's uh, it's 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 like it's been like, like it's been fun. All right. Well, yeah, having a successful team obviously leads to success, and another successful team this year. You take on the top team in the North, Sherwood Park Crusaders, and and what is what does that maybe mean just from a proximity wise? Uh, first time these two teams have been in the playoffs since the St. Albert Saints back in 0203. What is or in the in the North Division Finals, I should say. Uh, what what does that mean for this program, and what is that going to look like heading into the series? I, I think it's awesome. I look at. Uh, I look at, at Okotoks and Brooks, and they're they're two great uh, franchises in the south. And I think the north has uh, has two great franchises here in, in the north, in Sherd Park and, and, and Spruce Grove. I think it's going to be a hell of a series. I, I really do. Uh, I hope it comes down to you know the guys in the ice to you know the outcomes like of the games, and um, you know emotions are going to be running high throughout throughout the games. Uh, you know I think. I think, I don't know, I think it's still on Twitter where it's going to be called the Highway Series or whatever it's going to be called. But, I mean, I know our group is excited, and I know uh, talk with Kyle behind the scenes, and his, his group's going to be ready to go. Uh, I think it's great. I think it's great for Edmonton, and it's great for the surrounding communities and, you know, Spruce Grove and Shore Park to really, you know, we can showcase, you know, like our talents and, and what we do as, like, as an like, like organization. And, you know, it's, it's, it's part of recruiting. It's just, hey, look at us now. So... Uh, I think it's going to be it's going to be a long series. Uh, it's going to be emotional series, uh, but I hope at the end of the day the outcomes uh, of, of all games are just on the players on the ice and, and all that stuff is left behind. So um, we're 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 expecting Sherwood Park's best, and I know they're expecting our best. So can't wait. Is it safe to say that maybe this is an opportunity for I don't really know the rivalry has almost been. Brooks and Spruce Grove, or maybe Fort Mac and Spruce Grove, because there have been so many late series playoff uh, uh, interactions. Is it you almost welcome the opportunity? This would be cool to have this for you know maybe year in and year out. As you look at Sherwood Park, and they might be even better next year as yeah. well. That's great. I mean, I look at uh, you know look what Rick Swan's done in Bonneville with his group, and I look what uh, Eric Thurston's done in Drayton Valley, and you know White White Court has himself a, a, a new coach and. Um, you know the groundwork's laid like like by Gord, and uh, we wish Sean the best. But uh, you know there's 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 some good teams getting better really like really quick. Do I hope it's Sherwood Park and, and and Spruce Grove for the next number of years? Like you betcha. Uh, I know Lindsay and Danny, our owners, are going. You know it's just you know it's, it's <laughs> going to be great. It's going to be travel wise, 100 <laughs> percent. You know so there's no buses, no hotels, and you know it's uh, whatever it's called. It's going to be awesome. So I mean it's just it goes a long ways. I I think for both, and it just. Uh, but even looking around the league and in what Grand Prairie has done with their group and, and Mark and uh, you know so it's it's the teams are getting better and, and they're getting better quick and it's good for the league it's good it's good uh, you know good robberies when we get to maybe the Doyle Cup and play uh, you know the BC teams where we're able to compete 
you know, instead of it being, uh, you know, four or five games and it seems like Alberta hockey is going home first where, you know, maybe we're able to compete and get some more talent and stuff. So it goes a long ways for us. Well, maybe one last question for you, Rob. Appreciate you making time for us today here in the AJHL Coaches Show. Uh, if somebody were to, people when they already hear the team, Spruce Grove Saints across Canada, they think winner. Uh, in your words, how would you want somebody to, to look at the Spruce Grove Saints? What's the identity, what's the image that you want to portray for the organization? Yeah, I, I, you know, honesty, in, integrity is a big word that we use around our locker room, uh, compete. Uh, you know the want and, and uh, the want to get better, the want to to you know willingness of, of, of getting better. Uh, you know family. Uh, so I think all those things are are, are all kind of unique words and situations that every day we want our guys to to get better and and and, and get excellence and and move on and and enjoy the time here within Spruce Grove and whenever I can do to help Bram and, and give him the tools that that he you know, that he needs and his assistant coaches. Uh, you know that that I can provide. I know I get it from the top down. So, uh, you know, Lindsay and Dan are big supporters of of, of us, and uh, you know I could filter it down. But they leave here kind of on a good note and move on to that next level. And you know where they spent uh, you know maybe three years here, and they go, wow, that was fun. I had a good time in junior hockey. Well, I had a good time today. We could probably sit and talk for another hour. I feel like there's so many topics we didn't cover from your family and your background. But, Rob, I, I just really appreciate you making the time today. And best of luck throughout the playoffs. Awesome. I appreciate it. Thank you, Dave. All right. Wonderful. And thank you so much for watching this episode today. Thanks as well to Brandon and Juan Chish and I for running camera for us today. And hope you enjoyed this episode. And tune in next time for the Ken Alta Hotels AJHL Coaches Show.